All right, guys, so this is it. This is that final penultimate um, activity um, before I leave you um, at the conclusion of weather patterns. So in your final report to the citizens of Yale Town, you're going to discuss the three claims and explain how all three factors contribute to the severe storms. Then you're going to predict if storms will always be severe. So as we're answering the question, what caused Gale Town to have more severe rainstorms this summer than in previous years, we need to talk about how the lake, warmer weather, and stronger winds all caused Gale Town to have more severe storms. And we want to talk about them one storm at a time. So in storm one, we saw that it had light wind, um, very high temperature, low surface water. And so we had, we did have a storm because there, there was an air parcel that had a different temperature than the surrounding air, which caused it to rise. And as it rose, it lost energy because it was transferring it out um, to the surrounding air. The water vapor that was there condensed Okay, it um, went from water vapor to liquid water, and then they all came together and they came down. And then you want to talk about storm two. That at for storm two, now that there was a lake present, there was more water vapor available for each air parcel. So as that sun transferred that energy from um, from itself to the lake, the lake water evaporated, those evaporated water vapor droplets rose, they were in an air parcel, that air parcel then rose, um, giving out some of its energy as it was doing this. And then when it lost all of its energy and it was in equilibrium um, with that surrounding air, um, those droplets began raining. Um, and we saw that um, the higher the temperature, so the more energy that was transferred from the sun to the surface of that lake, the bigger the storm was, which then um, we looked at storm four and we looked at the effect of wind. And wind, when it comes from all directions, we've got that low pressure system around our air parcel and that high pressure system that comes in and pushes that, that air and creates wind and makes that air parcel move up. And because it gets higher, it's gonna have a bigger storm. So um, we wanted, I use the word air parcel a lot, um, condensation, evaporation, transfer, energy. I didn't talk about the troposphere, um, but the troposphere is that, that um, part of the atmosphere that is closest um, to the surface of the earth. Um, and so, there we go. The lake, warmer weather, and stronger winds all contributed to the resulting severe storms. The data shows that when the surface water was high, the temperature was very high, and the wind was very strong. The rainstorm was the most severe. In general, rain occurs when an air parcel is warmer than the surrounding air. This causes the air parcel to rise into the troposphere and lose energy until it is equal to the surrounding air. Water vapor in the air parcel condenses into liquid water to form a cloud and fall as rain. The addition of the lake caused there to be more water available to evaporate into water vapor in the air parcel. The more water vapor in the air parcel, the more condensation can occur and therefore more rain. Warmer temperatures would cause the air parcel to rise higher in the troposphere. The air parcel then loses more energy, causes more rainfall. Wind pushes air parcels even higher in the troposphere where it's colder. The air parcel will then lose more energy and more rain can happen. And so now we're going to think um, about the prediction. So the citizens of Gale Town want to know if they should expect more severe storms. Do you think that the storms that are happening in Gale Town will always be severe? I want you to choose an answer, and I want you to explain. Guys, you are wonderful. You are amazing. I'm not actually going to give you the answer to this one, because um, I'm going to hope that you are filling it out somewhere else. Again, you're wonderful, you're amazing, and I have had such the pleasure of walking you through weather patterns, and I hope you guys have a wonderful time. See ya.